guys. I'm here in Redlands, California. First time, folks, I'm usually doing stuff from the studio at home. I am live and out and about in Redlands, California. Here is Board Game Paradise. Anyone out there? Let me know how you're doing. Yeah, so I made the trip out. Um, it's been about like a half hour drive for me and doing the safe thing, got the mask. Um, hope you're all doing well. It is Friday afternoon, I had my lunch. Decided to come down here. I've been dying to come down here actually. It's been like about a month or so since uh, Richard uh, opened up his store and we're gonna take a look in the store, walk around a little bit, highlight some of the games and puzzles and all fun, all the fun things that they have in the uh, store here. And then we'll talk to the owner in just a second. So I'm gonna hang out a little bit. Y'all, uh, hope you're all doing good. This morning I had, um, did uh, some unboxings of games and also did some cro did a crossword puzzle, which was a lot of fun. And then last night, Michelle and I did a jigsaw puzzle. So yeah, you've been keeping busy with the, um, you know, playing games and doing the tabletop action. So want to just get out of the house and visit the store. Um, they are open for business. They've got puzzles, they've got games, they've got gateway games, they've got heavier stuff, medium stuff, like pretty much anything you want um, as far as gaming is concerned. So I see a couple of viewers in chat. Thank you for joining me. Um, I'm gonna hang out here, just wait till a few more people show up, and then we're gonna go in the store here and see what's happening in Board Game Paradise here. I'll get the uh, store in the background here. Um, yeah, so it is a warm, it, it's nice, it's warm, but uh, it's not too bad here in Southern, Southern California. Let me go here. So this is downtown Redlands, it's like Old Town. Um, we've got Jack's uh, shop right here, so toy store, board game paradise been here about a month and there's a store there's a sign game store look at all the games folks take a closer look here we've got I don't know if y'all can see that splendor planet night of the living dead that's the new zombicide one above and below some classics and also some new stuff mariposas fireball island let me switch it back to my face hello yeah again it's, it's, again you gotta be safe Practice social distancing, physical distancing, and uh, wear those masks, folks. Be safe. I'm going to take you in the shop now, all right? Okay, here we go. Let's come on in. We're open. Here we are, Board Game Paradise, folks. So here's the, the view that we just saw. Again, games, games, puzzles. Love this little area here, real chill. And then we walk in here. No, yeah, no, nothing with you. Oh, okay. So, I'm not saying that. Well, I'm not. Unlocked. Got class, the four player class, a bunch of chess pieces. Love this, the big dice, big 20 sided, right? Some D&D &D stuff, card sleeves, all the accessories you can need, all your game needs. I see some Star Wars sleeves. All right. More chess sets. Paints, folks. Paints for your minis. So there it is. Yeah, Panda Angel. Hello. There's Mrs. G. Um, yeah, Panda Angel. You want that big, uh, giant blue die? Yeah, that's yours. Got it. Okay. We'll add it to the shopping list. Hobbit Bites. Yes, this is in Redlands, uh, downtown or Old Town. Um, we're going to be picking up this giant blue die for Amanda Panda. Okay. So just a. Uh, Quick look back, that's the front door. We're coming in. We are live, folks. Thank you for joining me. Uh, shout out to Hobbit Bites, shout out to Panda, Mrs. G. There's the Warhammer stuff. We've got paints, all the D&D stuff. Uh, oh, backgammon set. I'm down with backgammon, folks. And coming around here, we've got the RPG stuff. So we've got 5e. Uh, we've got the starter set for those of you new to D&D. Highly recommend it. This is our RPG section, D&D. &D. All the minis, folks. Um, puzzle. Oh, they have a puzzle storage board. Interesting. I have to look at that, folks. Oh, hey, look, Wardlings. We're playing that right now at Renegade, folks, every Thursday, 4 p.m. Pacific. Uh, we'll be uh, ending our campaign uh, next week, actually. So hopefully y'all can turn in for the turn into that RPG D and D section. We have um, so the way they set it up was basically start on the right side, and you're going to make your way towards the left, 
So we got puzzles and um, like family friendly stuff. So huge puzzle section, right? Michelle and I did a puzzle last night. Um, Panda's asking, oh, Pet Hobbit? Um, wait, where is this? This isn't the store called Quest. No, this is um, right off of Fifth. And I think it's orange. Uh, I'll ask, we'll, we'll talk to the owner in just a second. Um, spare chain, yeah, okay, yeah, I'll let, uh, tell Richard, uh, Ryan says hi from Alabama, we will do. Cool, thanks for joining us. Yeah, hang out, we're gonna be looking at the entire store here, folks. Uh, yeah, Mrs. Gav, the Drop It, that's a great family game, one of our favorites. If you look up here, they got a bunch of puzzles, you got the 3D stuff as well. And Richard was just telling me that these puzzles here, let me see. These 3D puzzles, these have lights in them, folks. Crazy, crazy stuff what they're doing, puzzles. They have uh, puzzles here that are like uh, murder mysteries, basically. You put put together stuff, and uh, you got a little story you got to figure out, too. Um, Panda says, there's that video game that people were using for 5e RPGs. Oh, I didn't see that. Where was that? Here, I'll go back to the RPG section, Amanda. Um, I mean, I see Pathfinder. Maybe we can ask later. But yeah, this store looks awesome. They, they, they've been open about a month. We'll talk to Richard in just a second here. So there's the puzzles. Another puzzle section here. We got all the great stuff from Renegade. There they are right there. You know, shout out to my Renegade peeps. Rares and North Sea, because on bikes, uh, Overlight and Arboretum. Also from the op. Hey, shout out to the op right there. Um, there's the Simpsons, you've got, uh, the creepy, uh, clown from It, and then there's also Aliens, there's a 4,000 piece puzzle, right, that, that'd take a while to do. <laughs> Let's move on here, so we got the kids and family section next, um, again, all the classics, Ticket to Ride, all the different flavors of Ticket to Ride, Color Monster, we've got a Haba section, you gotta love Haba, and they do have that new Haba one, Michelle, we were just talking about this. They have the Christmas uh, version. Dr. Eureka, hey, we just played Strike last night, folks, or last week, so you're into Strike. That was a fantastic uh, family game. King Domino, oh, all the Catan. I am wearing my Catan shirt here. I'm gonna show y'all. Um, got my Catan, re representing the Catan shirt today, folks. Okay, so. Star Trek Catan, that's my favorite. And then they have Star Trek Panic 2, great co-op game. Some Dominions, the new Splendor Marvel edition. Uh, Hobbit, uh, asking, do these guys have LCG stuff? I wouldn't mind supporting them getting, oh, okay, yeah. Um, I will ask, uh, we'll, we'll get around to that. Uh, Michelle, no, Bruno Bark Venture, that is still in uh, prototype form. It hasn't um, been released yet. <laughs> So we got gizmos, you got some uh, cool engine building there, um, Carcassonne, classic tile lane, got the Forbidden Desert series and Island, again those are the co-op stuff. The cool little party section, Wits and Wagers, hey Spell Smashers, code names, uh, Telestrations, there's the crew, fantastic trick hicking game folks. Uh, no Donkey Vault yet folks unfortunately. <laughs> Okay, so we're moving along here. We've got uh, Ryan have all the beginner sets and strategy games, yeah. right? Villainous, Tiny Towns. Hey, that new Tiny Towns. Uh, we'll be playing that next week, folks. So we've got the uh, expansions, the uh, villages and trees coming out. There's Colt Express, Tea Dragon, Lanterns. Uh, Lanterns Ice, too. Michelle and I just played that. Good stuff. Tea Dragon, Calico. Folks, that's the one getting all the hype these days. Yeah, they got a ton of games, Michelle. A lot. Okay. Yeah, totally fantastic selection, folks. Um, so here's your pandemics um, section, right? As if you couldn't get enough of the real life pandemic if you want to play it. You've got all the different versions here. Um, I just soloed the uh, Hot Zone North America. Really cool 20 minute game. It's like pandemic light. Jaws, uh, just played Jaws with Amanda and John on their stream over on Boarding East LA. That's every Tuesday at 3 p.m. Pacific. There's the new Castles in Burgundy. That's the uh, latest version. Gravwell, we got Small World. Unmatched, folks, always down with Unmatched. You want to do an interview? There's the Quacks. Um, we also got a bunch of Clank. Uh, what's a, Mariposas, that's the one from uh, Elizabeth Hargrave of Wingspan. 
Uh, yeah, we did uh, Santa Monica recently too. That's a great game from uh, Josh Wood. Uh, we've also got Ecos. Yeah, fantastic yeah, selection, right? Wednesday either. Uh, Mystic Veil for the win. Yeah, Mystic Veil. We've got all the expansions here as well. Solid game, right? The card crafting thing, good stuff. And they do have Mystic Veil Conclave up there. And another card crafting game, Edge of Darkness. This is the big one. Uh, then you got the heavyweight section. This this is the good stuff right here, folks. Uh, Star Trek Ascendancy. Rebellion. I still need to get, get a copy Welcome. of Rebellion. Got Viticulture. My, one of my favorite worker placement games. Uh, which one? Board game? Which one? Hellboy. Oh, Hellboy. Yeah, okay. Let's the, let's starting over there, folks, I'm talking to uh, Richard, the owner. The the hey, guys. Hey, Richard. Um, you know what? I'm, I'm going to come back to you in just yeah, a minute. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So we're going to get back to Richard in just a second. Just going to highlight a few more of the games here. Green boxes. Um, yeah, Edge of Darkness is good, right? So there's Root. All the little Root stuff. So many games, folks. Good stuff. Art, Axis, and Allies. There's side, there's some Stonemeyer stuff, tapestry. Okay. And so let's go this way. We got some legacy stuff. Werewolf, Betrayal. I think next to Hellboy too. This is all like the Halloween themed stuff, folks. There's classic zombie dice, werewords, Dead of Winter, always a good uh, co-op with a trader game. Got some classic Rubik's Cubes. And chess, you know, can't get any more classic than that, right? Got cribbage, so I know got some cribbage players watching. So if you need cribbage stuff, here you go. Got some cool smaller box games, um, right here. Yeah, Hobbit bites. Uh, hey, happy birthday on your Sunday, my friend. Yes, definitely swing by. Come down, get treat yourself to some gifts. Sparkle Kitty. Hey, Llama. Look at that. Michelle, they got Llama. Everyone now. Good day. Good day. Good day. Tama Tama. Uh, Camel Cup cards. Uh, oh, they got a Star Wars R2-D2 3D puzzle. Oh, my goodness. Good stuff, folks. Uh, so here are more classics. I'm going to zoom around over here. Got some bunch of two-player stuff. Seven Wonders Duel, one of my favorite two-player games. Uh, Onitama, Michelle loves that. Got Paris, Star Wars Destiny, the Unlock series, the Exit series. Um, oh, we played this one too. This is great. The Escape to Haunted Mansion, the Scooby-Doo version. Good stuff. Warp's Edge. If you haven't played Warp's Edge, folks, great solo game from Scott Alms. There's a backgammon set. Keyforge. Patchwork. Oh, okay. They're, they got the new Patchwork uh, Americana edition, folks. And let's swing over here. Hobbit Bites, you were asking about Marvel Champions. Here it is right here. Let's see if they got any expansions here. Yeah, they do. Captain America, the Hulk, all the Avengers, folks. Got some Marvel Flux as well. More Marvel Champions, the Rise of the Red Skull. There it is. Uh, Flux, Star Realms, one of my favorite deck, two-player deck building. And Beyond Dead 13, hey, thanks for joining us. We're just hanging out at Board Game Paradise in Redlands, just checking out the store. They've been open about a month. We're going to talk to Richard, the owner, in just a second. Uh, so here's all, Michelle would appreciate this. This is like all the science-themed stuff. Yeah, so many good games here. Marvel Champions, we talked about Arkham Horror, uh, your L LCGs. Oh, did have we looked at everything? We got the X-Wing. Um, Jaipur, the two-player. I think this is, yeah, this is the newer version. Yep. Great two-player games. Uh, we did that section. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Andrew, we all only went out for a pint of milk. Yeah, right? Mrs. Gab, yeah, I don't know how to solve a Rubik's Cube either. Hey, okay, Lama. Need to convince uh, Ambi to teach it. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, <laughs> Hobbit. Uh, yeah, right? Just perfect timing, Hobbit. Okay. So, again, those are just some of the, I'm going to, I'll pan out here just to take a look at the store here. It's a great clean space and jam packed with games, puzzles, and everything you want, folks.
All right, so we're gonna make our way here. What haven't I? I think I've covered everything. You got the chest, cribbage. I mean, they have several different types of cribbage boards, right? The one that has here. Then you got go, chess, the chess timer. If y'all have any questions, let me know, and uh, we'll get them answered. I'm gonna hang out for just you know, I'll be hanging out here for a little while, just just salivating over all, <laughs> all the games that I want. I see the quacks of Quiddlemurray. This one's tough to find. It's been sold out, out of print for a couple of times, I think. Um, they also have the expansion here. Oh, and, uh, have you reached out There's Space Base, Machi Koro, the Machi Koro Legacy. We just got that in as well. Oh, hey, there's the King of Tokyo Dark Edition. Um, Hobbit Bites, I will ask. That's a great question uh, regarding events. Spare chain. <laughs> uh, continue here. We got more zombie dice, Thanos Rising. Hey, the Top Gun game. There's El Dorado, which, uh, Michelle, I'm, I think we're going to be playing El Dorado next week on stream. Got, uh, got some plans. So, yeah, Stuff Fables, Fable Fruit, lots of good stuff here, folks. We got some more classics over here. Um, this is the party section. Oh, yeah, we, we went over this one already. Okay. 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 Sushi Go. Um, oh, yeah, we got play mats, the, uh, the tubes for the play mats. Amanda, I got your big blue die. That's the one you wanted, right? Yeah, people get really thrown off. Yeah. Um, oh, so we got some D&D &D figures. Uh, Dragon Shields, FFG, the Keyforge um, things, uh, sleeves, Battlestar Galactica, oh my gosh, so much good stuff, folks. Okay, all right, so let's go over here, um, look who we're going to run into, folks, Richard, how are you? Good. All right, you you are busy, my friend, but uh, Always, man. yeah. That's what we do here. So we've got a uh, yeah, we've got some uh, f friends and p uh, friends and f more friends on uh, Twitch right now. We are live, and this is Richard Manley, the owner of Board Game Paradise. Uh, Richard, you've been here about a month now. Not even, but yeah. Okay, a cool. How how is business so far? You, you know, it's it's been amazing, really. Nice. To the reception from the community and the reception from Redlands has been more than what we anticipated. So awesome. First weekend, we sold out of a lot of our base games, so we brought more in and tried to stock a little bit deeper, and then we sold yep. all of those the second weekend, and nice. we're like, all right, we got to figure this out. <laughs> That's awesome. So, yeah, it's been... It's been a lot of fun. That's great. Yeah, actually, when I first walked in, I saw there's a shipment coming in of a couple of big boxes of games. So that, that's a good sign. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I, it's, uh, so someone from Alabama, I think their name is. Oh shoot. Someone from Alabama just said hi. I think it's Chen. I, I don't know. To, anyway, someone from, going by the name of Hobbit Bites online is asking. I know it's difficult with COVID restrictions still in place, but are there any plans for events? Yeah. So because you guys know. Ruel, I can give you a sneak peek in the back. Ooh, you hear that? Okay, folks. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's do this. Look at this, folks. So you'll pardon the mess. Okay, of course. Come back and join me. Awesome. Uh, folks, we are getting VIP treatment today. Thanks to Richard. Here we are going to the back of the store. Puzzles, games, oh my gosh. Nice. Um, which is great. And so the goal is to remove these walls so we can set up a table here. Okay. But we have an entire back room as well. Whoa. Whoa, what? So we've actually painted and got slat board up. Um, so we're hoping to start out with kind of two or three tables back here, especially with uh, with uh, keeping our distance. That's mm -hmm. our goal. Um, so, nice. uh, and then we have handicap accessible. So we got a back door if, if okay. someone needs to, if they can't quite make that turn. Okay. Um, so we're, we're foresight keeping that in goal. Awesome. Um, you can't see it, but there is actually a restroom behind that door. Okay. Um, and then that white paper is called uh, blank stock. I'm actually gonna put uh, wallpaper on it so oh so this is gonna be a really awesome mural cool so you'll have to come back and see what it is there you go folks <laughs> and then this one's a whole nother mural that's gonna go on that wall awesome see folks you got to come down um it is ryan says hi from alabama yeah ryan. what's up <laughs> nice so cool yeah. okay any, um, I mean, uh, time estimate as far as uh, when this is going to happen, or is it just future plans, or? So our grand, we're, uh, grand opening is November seventh. Mm -hmm. So we are, ideally, 
gonna have it by then, but with uh, at least open to show people. Mm -hmm. uh, but with the COVID restrictions, it is gonna obviously make things a bit more complicated as far as when we can actually host events here. Right. So on November 7th, we are gonna set some tables outside and uh, do some paint, miniature painting and some awesome. games and hopefully have a couple other things that we could play. Uh, so we're doing that. And then as far as back here, we are gonna start doing D&D. &D oh, adventures. okay. So cool. that'll be uh, by reservation only. And okay. so that way we can control the traffic. That's an easy thing that, hey, that you're here this time, this many people, because you're only going to sit four or five at a table for the D&D game. Right. Um, so that works out perfect with the restrictions. Cool, and cool. So we do have plans, just no firm dates because of really it depends on what the government's going to let us do. Right. So. Now, uh, technically, right now you are a pop-up store, right? This is a pop-up um, for a few months? Yeah, great question. Thanks for asking. Mm -hmm. So we did only technically sign a four-month lease, and the reason is because uh, Buddy hit me up, him and I talked multiple times, and uh, said, hey, let's do something. And I was like, let me run the numbers again. And so every time I look at those numbers, it's like, man, it's expensive to run a business in California. Yeah. And so it was one of those things I was like, this is a lot. And so we'll test it and see if it's something the community wants and wants to support. And if we can keep the doors open, then we will. But if we can't, then we'll end at the end of four months and call it a great test and a lot of fun and yes. move on from there. So at this point, yeah, we are a pop-up store because... It's expensive to run a store uh, business, period, mm -hmm. in uh, California. And right now with the pandemic, I had, I'd called uh, mentors and coaches. It was like, am I totally crazy opening <laughs> up a retail store in a pandemic? Right. And they're like, dude, with what you got, try it out. And so that's what we're doing. Awesome. And uh, you've said that the response so far has been great, right? I mean, it it's seems... It's been amazing. Yeah. Yeah, it, yeah absolutely. 100% has been absolutely amazing. Awesome. So we knew if there was ever a time that we are going to make... Uh, enough money to stay open. It would be during the holiday season. So mm -hmm. that's why we were intentional to open. We wanted to open up kind of mid-September. Mm -hmm. um, but, hey, we were at least able to get open up October 2nd. So. Awesome. Cool. And um, can we just uh, fill in a little bit about your history, Richard, as a retailer? Because you've been selling games, you know, at, our, at the local game meetups and stuff for a while. And also here in Redlands as well, the the farmer's market, correct? Yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, it was about six years ago that I started, um, got the notion from, yeah, to start a business plan for a board game uh, cafe, actually. Okay. And so I uh, started doing things, get that motion, eventually opened up an account with, uh, with GTS, which was my very first distributor, mm -hmm. and started selling games just out of my garage, and like you said, at the at market night here in Redlands, and I wanted to see if it, the, I wanted to test the market and see mm -hmm. if it was even slightly sustainable. And through that, um, game clients and friends and met me well through some of that and yeah. everything else. And so one thing has led to another. I've been selling out of my garage now for probably five years. Wow. So cool. you know, we started the meetup at Gourmet Pizza in mm -hmm. downtown Redlands as well. Mm -hmm. And been doing that for four plus years. So that's been really, really cool. Super yeah. bummed we haven't been able to. But we're right. still hoping to do that with Gourmet Pizza and then obviously have the back room as well. So when we're allowed to again, we're hoping to do that again. Awesome, cool. Let's go head back to the store. And folks, you got a sneak peek at the soon to be gaming area here at Board Game Paradise. And so we're heading back to the main store. And here we are. Yes, if they love Disney or. Richard, what was the. What got you into the hobby? Oh, oh, he, oh authentic yes. R2D2 3D Star Wars puzzle. Like, these are so hard to find. It's really? Technically sealed? <laughs> kind of? Wow. Technically. Yeah, yeah. If nobody wants to buy it, I'll keep it myself. <laughs> I'm so excited for it. Nice. And uh, so, fun question. Uh, I've been playing games with my family ever since I was a kid. So I grew up playing Uno and Monopoly and the whole spectrum. At one point in time, I even started collecting Monopoly boards. Oh, okay. I've since lost that collection in a fire, but, uh, but yeah, so... Uh, I was a guy freshman year that hosted Friday Night Risk. So every Friday night, we'd bust out a game of Risk, and sometimes we had enough players to get two, two tables going at the same time. Oh, nice. So that just, I have great memories from that. Um, it's a great time to build new friendships. And, and so one thing led to another. I eventually played Catan, and it was just a slippery slope after that. Yeah, yeah, now, that's... Here we are. Here we are now in your own store. I mean, how excited yeah. are you? I mean, this is this is amazing, right? You know, it's really funny because I have, I have several friends that have known me for a handful of years and like this has been like a dream of yours since I've known you yeah like it's been that long so yeah it's, it's really wild awesome awesome uh Tim from Meepleville is watching around he says hello Tim we did it yes yes I had a conversation with Tim 
because um, I actually demoed with Yellow at uh, Origins, Origins Game Fair. Okay. So I did that for two, three years, and Tim is awesome. He is. Check out Meepleville, definitely do so. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, so I had conversations with him years ago now mm -hmm. about this very thing. Awesome. Yeah, and he says here in the comments, glad to see you finally did it. So yeah. congratulations. Let's walk back over here. Um, we've got this at the front of the store. I, I love this little area here. Very welcoming and just it looks yeah, so mellow and chill. Like this is my my type of uh, setup right here. <laughs> you know, for reading and stuff. This is where I would like read rule books yeah, and, then, right? and then get back there. So um, this is also my wife's nook. Oh, okay. So my wife is uh, our marketing manager and designer. She owns a marketing agency, so she chose the color. So you have her to thank for that. And we've had a lot of people come in and just say they love it. Mm -hmm. And then she actually wanted a space where she could potentially meet with a client and or sit and read a, not a role-playing game. <laughs> <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. Rule book, but, uh, but yeah, so she set that up. Mm. Um, but yeah. So awesome. She's, she's got a good eye for... Yeah, it, it looks it looks fantastic here, Richard. And before we get going, so first of all, I want to say congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Uh, this so is so awesome. Yeah, uh, we got one game I would like to highlight, and yeah. it's something that's happening. I'm oh. so stoked, folks. Let's take a look at this. Richie, you want to talk about this and what's yes. happening here? So we just got this in actually, literally yesterday. Um, but of course, you got to have Mandalorian and Napoli, right? Yes. So we only got a handful of them in, but uh, I'm seeing the release of the Mandalorian today. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've, I was almost going to sit and watch it in the back before we opened, but then one thing led to another, and yeah. login issues, and I was like, dang it. So, if you haven't watched it, go watch it. Be, it's going to be fantastic. I'm excited for season two. Same. But yeah, if you, you can take two are a fan at all, type, you have Mandalorian and Netflix, so come four check four it out. Definitely. Cool. Uh, so, Richard, before we get going here, this is, so we're going to finish up. Okay. How can people uh, find you, and what are your operating hours? Yeah, so... Uh, by Monday by through level. Friday, so we're typically cards, noon right? to 8 p.m. So and there. then Saturday, we've actually expanded our hours like now. This. So we go 10 a.m. And you'll have them um, like there's five a farmer, across. farmer's market in the back. So if you same like to get up early, you like farmer's cards. market, you can you'll come check out games across. and a farmer's market all at the same time. So we're going 10 um, to 10, 10 p.m. These are like a little awesome. hiring right now as well, and we have some amazing candidates already, which is exciting. And so we're trying to expand our hours and our time to be able to better serve the community. If you want to buy a card, you can do that on your turn instead of taking tokens. But they cost me. Facebook is BoardGameParadise.store, and we are on Twitter as well, BGPad. That's I could buy this card. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so I return awesome. all over. Cool. Thank you, Richard, for your time. Much appreciated and right much now, continued success, my friend. Yeah, man. Yeah. All right. We'll, we'll get some uh, lives going on here with uh, yeah. Some That'd be fun. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Richard. So I'm gonna turn this back around. So folks, yeah. How awesome is this? We've got a store out here in Redlands of the Inland Empire. We just talked to Richard, and I mean, how cool is this? There's so many games here. We've got a great selection. I mean. I, you know, I ended with, we ended with uh, that Mandalorian um, Monopoly game because I, I think it's important for you get your casual gamers, people just walking by, to see they see Monopoly. I think it's important that they can feel comfortable getting something that they're familiar with. And by them getting that, Richard and his crew say, hey, if you like Monopoly, maybe you'd like this one. And they, you know, it's a great intro into the hobby, right? I'm a huge fan of gateway games. You know, that's how me and my family got into them, right? T Ticket to Ride, stuff like that. That Monopoly, you know, um, if you like Monopoly, you get Machikoro, you know, stuff like um, games like that. Hobbit Bites, so I'm going through the comments now. Hobbit Bites says, uh, head to Bricks and Birch for price of a delicious pizza. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Thanks. And uh, Book of Nerds, yes, Redlands. We're in um, Old Town Redlands right now. And uh, Daryl Woldemar, hey, good to see you. <laughs> it's well life casting. Assume he's going to get, yeah, maybe you all want to see what I'm going to eat for lunch? <laughs> I actually had a burrito earlier. Uh, Silver Metal ta Tavern, thanks for hanging out. Yeah, great. It was a beautiful shop. So I'm going to, let me see. I'm going to turn around. My phone's almost going to die. I'm going to turn it, thing around. I'm going to give you one more look, folks. So here's, we're at the, the entrance of the store. Okay, this is the main, like the first shop. Oh, hey, Isle of Cats. I didn't even see that one earlier. Uh, Paris, Quacks. So, you know, we got employees and... Yeah. Customers, I mean, absolutely packed to the gills with games, folks. Yes. Everything you ever wanted in gaming. Oh, they have, actually have this little section here. Okay. Amanda, thank you for putting the, um, the link in the chat there for us. Much appreciated. Got a little bunch of little puzzles. 
Yes. These puzzles oh, I here. Like, I don't know what this is. <laughs> happy Salmon. Classic. One of our favorites. Oh, this is, this is also and it's got the Happy Salmon, the new color Happy Salmon as well. Okay. So, you all got any questions? I'll hang out for another minute or two uh, here at Paradise, uh, Board Game Paradise in Redlands. Um, I'm, let me look at the questions here. So, thanks again for joining me. Much appreciated. Uh, yeah, Ryan from Alabama. Good to see you on... Um, Good to see you on here. Amanda, thank you. So, yeah, hot zone. Escape, uh, cool, cool. Here, I'll, I'll look at the chat while um, I show the store. So, okay. Great looking shop. Yeah, it is Silvertown. It's a really good. And I know that they, they had uh, posted on their Facebook page when they were like laying down the, the flooring. Yeah, they did everything here. Richard is quite a craftsman. Okay. Oh, nice. Can you play, can you get the Colt so do they have paints? They do, uh, Silver Metal. So I'm going to walk back over to the uh, paint section. For those of you who just joined us, we are in Board Game Paradise in Redlands. So we're going to take a look at their paints. So here we go here. Okay. All right. We are waiting for our Games Workshop rack. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. Let, um, so you're waiting for the Games Workshop, and yeah, we have a Games Workshop rack on the way. So excuse the the paints and the packaging. There you go, uh, folks. We're also stocking a whole bunch of other brands, some paint sets that make it easier to collect. We got the intermediate case that comes with a nice carrying case. Awesome. You name it, hobby tools. There you go, folks. Thank you. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah. This whole section's they are gonna be adding. We'll look take one more look at the RPGs, the minis and stuff. Two player games. Oh, they do have the uh, Onitama um, expansion there, Way of the Wind. But then Graham's Duel, a two player version. And oh, Smash Up, I forgot to show the Smash Up stuff. Always a big hit. Okay. Seems like a lot of build out for four months, right? Um I, I think they're they're hoping that they're going to stay a lot longer. You know, we've got our fingers crossed, Tim. Uh, there's gateway section, party section. I like what they did. The lights up here. They covered some of the lights with these things. And all the games. So there it is. Okay, friends. So that's it. My phone's just about to die. I'm gonna buy this uh, big die for Amanda Panda. And um, we're also, I think I'm going to look at a couple of these puzzles here and stuff, so, um, in some of the games. So this has been Board Game Paradise in Redlands, California. They've been open less than a month. Come on down. Uh, you, we just talked to Richard, the owner. They're going to be here at least till uh, January for their pop-up. They've got a short, um, you know, time here, but hopefully this as much, you know, hopefully the success continues and they'll be able to make it a permanent thing. All right. So... Thanks again, folks. We'll see you live. I am back tomorrow, 9 a.m., playing solo games here on Twitch. And then Sunday, I'll be with um, Amanda on her channel. I don't know if you have announced that yet, Amanda. My bad if I, I just spoiled it. But <laughs> that'll be uh, Sunday. And then next week as well. Got streams uh, every day next week on here on Twitch and also on Renegade's channel at uh, 4 p.m. Pacific on Thursday. I'll be finishing up the Wardlings uh, RPG campaign there. So keep an eye out. Um, oh, I've got also got uh, something coming out uh, on Monday. Um, you'll see that on uh, social media. Really excited. It's uh, I, I can't announce it um, yet, but I just it, I was well not totally confirmed, but we'll. We'll, we'll talk about it later, folks. Okay. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. Uh, thank you, uh, Tim. Thank you, everyone, for joining, and we'll see you later. Have a good one. Bye, folks.